What's up, guys? Back with part two of the uh, Lil Nas X Old Town Road remix featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. Um, check out the part one that was the actual reaction if you missed that uh, so you know what's going on. This is the actual breakdown, our conclusions, and what we thought of the song. So with that being said, I'm going to start it off with my man over here because I think if you guys saw the first uh, video, you know uh, y your boy was feeling it. You, your boy was feeling it. You know, man, it's this. Uh, it's, 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 it's as odd as it was and as funny as it was to me, man. I had a good time listening yeah. to the song. I yeah. really did enjoy listening to this song. <laughs> I, th I thought they did a good job with that. I thought the beat is it's a trap formula that has been used time and time and time again for years, decades at this point. <laughs> you know, um, but it it, it kind of worked for me, man. It was it was an enjoyable song. Now I'm not going I'm not going to jump off the off the uh, the ledge and say that this was a good song. I'm going to say that it was a fun, enjoyable song. Right. And mm -hmm. it seemed like Lil Nas um, and Billy Ray seemed to have a good time. They just to see it just seemed fun. If this came right. in, uh, if this came on rather in a club or a bar. I'm going to have a great time. I'm going to dance. I'm going to just enjoy myself listening to it. And mm -hmm. I think that that's... That was the intention. I think I it's think. endearing. I think that people yeah. are seeing that. They see, they're see they seeing the fun in this. And I love that Billy Ray hopped on this, you know, amidst all of the controversy. It's going to be beneficial for him, but I'm glad that he did that. Um, just to say, like, dude, like, instead of using this moment to, to, to separate us and cause separation... I'm going to use this as, a, as an opportunity to bring everybody together. Correct. Right? Yep. You know what I mean? I'm a country dude. I'm solidified in the country community. You know, let me take this dude, yep. put my arm around him and say, you know what, man? Let's have some Let's have some fun. Let's bring everybody together. Mm -hmm. And clearly, what, who, if anyone's going to be about that and, and, and appreciate that, it's going to be us, right? <laughs> right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Now, the lyrics, though? Nah. The, nah. The yeah, lyrics were trash. <laughs> the, the lyrics are trash, Lil Nas X. But I understand that it wasn't about that. It wasn't about you trying to create this sort of boundary pushing art. So just take it for what it is, guys. Stop taking it so serious, man. You know, and it is, is my opinion on it. But I got some things. We're going to talk about, you know, what constitutes uh, a country song and this and that. You know, I, I think at some point during this uh, this yeah. video. But yeah. so I do think that Billy Ray did a really good job, surprisingly. He right. sounded really, really good on a trap beat. Right. You know what I'm saying? I thought I loved the way he approached this song, I'll be honest with you. But this is a fun song. Don't take it too serious. Just enjoy it, guys. You know yeah. what I mean? So uh, shout out to these gentlemen, man. I, it was an enjoyable listen for me. Cool, cool. Yeah, man. Uh, that shit's playlist for me. That <laughs> shit was incredible, man. And not because I think it was an incredible song. I just think it was everything George just described. It was fun. I can't wait to be done with this video so I can go play it downstairs dang, in my house, dang. to be honest with you, because uh, I got friends of mine in town. But, um, dude, it was just a fun song. And I hope that the country community can get behind something like this, man, because it's creative. It's different. I like the way he approached this. And, and dude, it was, it, was, it was so different that I think it worked because it was fun and because does it sound good? I think it's bridging two genres here, right? It's bringing um, the hip hop element element to um, to country, and it's bringing a country element to hip hop mm -hmm. with the Billy Ray Cyrus um, uh, featured on this uh, remix here. And is it fucking with Nelly song? No. Uh, well, we'll get to, <laughs> I don't know what the country community thinks of that song. Yeah, I, I heard think, I heard mixed reviews when that came out. But anyways, I don't ahead. even know if they even know what that <laughs> is. But but yeah, but I will <laughs> say, man, um, the way. That chorus was, uh, or excuse me, the way that uh, Billy Ray Cyrus approached this song with the chorus, man. I'm going to thank my heart to that old now road. I'm going to ride till I can't and that was, no and that was more. Nice. That shit is off yeah. the chain. I love the way that sounds. That cadence, whoo, killed it. Killed it. And then even the um, the pre-chorus here, you know what I'm saying? Can't no money tell me nothing. Man, that shit I, can, I thought they wrote the I can, really. I can actually bang, I can rock to that. I'm yeah. like, when, dude, man, guys, you gotta watch <laughs> that first, uh, that first video, man, because when I heard that, I was not expecting to like this song. And full disclosure, I was like, man, I even told George, man, we gotta do this song, man. Yeah. Do we have to do this song? And I'm like, he's like, we ain't gotta do nothing. It's our shit. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but you know, it, it makes something. it makes sense for us to do something like this, exactly. Right? You know, considering the type of channel we have. For those who don't know uh, about this channel, guys, we. Uh, give our honest breakdowns and we really try to do things that is good for everyone good for the artist good for the uh, culture and good for the genre no matter what genre we do because we do multiple genres on this channel mm -hmm. so that was my reservation for doing this song I was like man if if I don't like it I'm gonna have to go in man I'm gonna have to go in you know mm -hmm. and um, based on the title and based on the surrounding controversy of this song. I was like, man, I'm not going to like this song. So I was truly surprised to really like it. Yeah. That's why I was like, you know what, man? I don't care if y'all don't like it or not. 
this shit is hot to me. And that's and that's what so, I want to want to jump in on. It, it's we've had this conversation at least on the hip hop side. I'm not sure about metal, but um, you know the difference between something being like artistically done very well and then something just being hot. Yeah, just something that's just hot. Yep. And this song, I think, had the impact. It's having the impact that it um, it's having because. It's hot. Yep. It's actually very catchy. Yep. And um and people can groove and have a good time to it. And also, of course, the controversy and also the fact that Billy Ray Cyrus um jumped in on this track and did what he did. So it's sort of sort of a perfect storm for this guy. And I'm happy for him, dude. Yep. To go from being a a a, a Nicki Minaj, uh being I guess the leader of her fan club. I don't know what the fuck he was. Yeah, Nas Mraz was his name. To being in the studio with with Billy Ray Cyrus making a song that's probably gonna be a number one hit. I don't know where he's at on where, right. where this is uh, ranked on the Billboard at the moment. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome from him, though, man. So even if this is his one little hit, dude, you you can make good money. Absolutely, man. And I think uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, man, I don't think he would have hopped on the track if he was not trying to do it justice. I think mm -hmm. he really was like, okay, I'm really gonna take. Take heed to this. I'm really gonna try to embrace it and and make it my own. And I think he did a good job at that. With that being said, um, do you think that this is a country song, Ryan? What do you think about that? Do you know, you think this qualifies based off of what we've done on this channel, right? The country songs we've done, right? Based off of what we've seen in the comments from people who are who are uh, who have been listening to country music their entire lives. Do you think there should even be labels on music? Well, man, uh, that's a very good question because that's exactly what's going on in, in the comments and in the industry, right? Um, I guess if you look up the definition of country, man, you know, country and Western fusion and folk music and um, get steel guitars and acoustic guitars and banjos and stuff like that, does it have all those elements? No. So by definition, is it technically country music? Maybe not. I don't know. But one thing I do think it is, is it's music. And I think music is art, right? It should be interpreted. It, the music should be interpreted by the artists, right? Yeah. What they think and what they believe. And I tell you one thing, Billy Ray Cyrus is country, right? Mm -hmm. So, and he's on the track. And so he I stamped think, it. Right. So I think they have. has got it, a sample of a banjo. Right. So it's got <laughs> elements. My point is it's got elements, right? It's got elements of country in it. You know, these, these genre labels are made to at least help us find sounds that we like. That's yep. that's the way I take it. You know, when I listen, when I see when I see a song that's labeled under hip hop or labeled under metal, if I want to listen to a certain song, I'm not confused by how to get to that song or a certain style. I know how to get to that style. You know, but sometimes it feels like, you know, the the um and this happens in every genre, the you know, the people who listen to these genres, the people who are the purists or the traditionalists of the genre, they use these titles you know, as a barrier. So if something isn't to like to a T, to yeah. isolate them and, yeah. and, to, and, to keep, and to keep certain, I don't know, maybe I don't want to say people out, but to keep certain things out and they're not, they're holding on to it so hard that they're not allowing it to grow and evolve. Yeah. You know, and they that happens. They want to keep it pure, but it can't evolve. It can't evolve. Say, I got you. Right. Yep. So you want to keep it the same. You don't yep. want to allow it to grow and evolve. So I, I think that that's sort of a, an interesting thing that I see in all genres. It's like, we can't let go of of certain things, you know what I mean? But not letting go of these these traditional elements sometimes, it just stifles the growth. Yep. It does. It stifles creativity, you know what I mean? So this is one of those situations where I don't think this is a country song, personally. Right. I get <laughs> you know it. Yep, I get it. I don't. I don't. And um, But I'm a traditionalist on the rap side. When you are rapping, rapping, you rhyme, you rhyme words together over a beat. Yep. If you are not like, so if someone tomorrow said, you know what, I'm making a rap song and I'm not rhyming my words together, I'm yeah. going to tell you you're not rapping. Correct. That's just me. Yep. So there's certain elements that just as as a person that loves and uh and really like embodies like the hip hop genre and uh, and what it's about and comes from that, yeah. that ilk, um, it would be tough for me to let go of 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 certain traditional pure elements of it. So I I, got you. I get it, but I think sometimes it serves as a barrier and it and it stops the evolution of the genre as well. So hopefully you guys understand. Yeah, yeah. I know. think that's a great point, man. I think it's a great point. And and that's why we we said uh earlier guys, if this is something that he's look I, I think personally this is something that both of these artists was trying to bring people together. If it was something that was done with malice and trying to make a mockery of the genre, no, I don't agree with that's that. That's not what I got. I don't get this. I don't get that out of that out of this either. So nah, that's that's I think my this point. This is a kid that just went, wanted to yep. have fun and he, I'm sure he probably heard the beat and was like, "Oh, I could do some yep. fun stuff." He's from the country too. And he's I from, love he's that. from Georgia, you Dude, know what I mean? I think so. it's I think it's super creative, man, and, and I love this, man. I'm I'm all about 
bringing people together through music and trying different things, man, that that could work. And I just think people need to be open to that, man. Yeah. Just be open to it. It may open you up to different genres that you may uh, never would have opened up to. Yeah. Enjoy it for what it is. Or not enjoy it, but don't don't you know be in an outrage, right? Exactly. Because someone wanted to try something a little different, you know what I mean? Yep. So, so that's it, guys. That's it. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If yeah, you haven't man. subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel. If you're interested, it will allow you to get early access to our content. The link for that will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan, lost in Vegas. We out. We out.